Hi, my name is Kitty, and I'm older than the internet. Hi, Kitty! Veda is here, and it's time to make some videos. Time to meet some people you don't know. I looked it up this morning, and technically, I am older than the internet, but I'm not older than ARPANET, so that made me feel a little bit better about myself. And the reason why I didn't get into the internet, really, until a little bit later in life, had more to do with access than anything else. Like, when the internet first came out, not everybody had it. And if you had it, you had to have, like, a separate phone line that you could hook your modem up to. Even by the time I went away to college, they gave me an email address. I think I exchanged two emails using my college email address because it just, it wasn't that big of a deal. If you had to do research, you still went to the library and opened up a giant book called an encyclopedia, and you did your research like that. But then when I did actually, like, hit the internet. I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that I was in a job at the time that I really didn't like very much and I was bored. There wasn't enough work for me to do. So I started just hanging out on the internet and one of the first places that I really, really started hanging out was the Chicago Swing Dance message boards, this site called Windy Hop. For a while I was even the number one poster and I did all of that not having internet at home. I didn't really get internet at home until six or seven years ago. And now it's one of those things where if I didn't have it, I don't know what I would do without it. If for no other reason, because I watch a lot of television via Netflix and or Hulu. I think it's kind of important to take some time away from the internet. I know that Matt posted a blog a few days ago about why internet friends are better than real friends. The suggestion was brought up by Ian. And there's some good points made in there, but by the same token, you can't hug your internet friends unless you do it in between asterisks. But I will say this, the internet friends that I've made through VEDA are amazing. Welcome to all the people from countries that haven't participated in VEDA before. And even yesterday, the amount of internet love that was going around associated with VEDA was overwhelming. It was it was brilliant. It was brilliant. And this is why I do it. This is why I do VEDA. This is why I love VEDA is because I can run around and say nice things to people and they don't think that I'm weird for it. At least I don't think that they think that I'm weird for it. That's what this is about. Usernames with a name like Kitty, people just automatically start calling me Miss Kitty. And it's one of those things where I feel like, yes, I have the right to the username Miss Kitty because Kitty is my name. That's the name that I've had since I was born. I had problems with it when I was younger and little old men felt it necessary to meow at me, but whatever, I've gotten over it. If you can think of a way to make fun of my name that I haven't heard of yet, then I, I will send you some fun bonus prize. I'm sorry, but if your name is like, Tiffany or Jill or Samantha and you want to be sassy and steal my username that I have a right to because it's my actual name You can change it. Miss Kitty should be my username because it's my actual name Now I'm working on a show about the roller derby So I have a derby girl name Rolling Jolene. So she's Rojo when I'm communicating with the people involved in that show I keep having to sign things MKRJ. MK is what I'm used to but a lot of them probably just know me now as Rolling Jolene. You want to see my helmet? This is my helmet for the roller derby. And if we look over here, we see Darth Kitty. And if we look back here, there's Torchwood. And if we look over here, it's a Dalek! Anyway, hooray for those of you that made it through Veda Day 1. Hooray for you that came back for Day 2. And I hope to see all of your beautiful, 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 beautiful faces for Veda Day 3 tomorrow. See you later. It's really noisy outside this morning.